Hi, and welcome to today's episode of Probability Applications. Today we're going to be talking about continuous random variables. So, let's go over the things that we're going to cover today. So the first thing is the expected value of continuous random variables, as well as some SOA exam and practice problems. So what exactly does it mean to be continuous? Well, let's look at the interval from 0 to 1. How many numbers can fit in between these two numbers. Basically anything. You can have a decimal like 0 0.1 or 0 0.111, 0 0.12, or even a fraction as small as 1 over a trillion. It does not matter because this interval is dense. There are infinitely many numbers to choose from in between. Now let's look at the continuous application in the real world. So in a car accident damages might range from small scratches to total losses to the car and it's very rare that we can model this with a discrete variable so let's look at the questions we're going to be covering the first one is for expected value of x and the second one is for the expected value of 1 over x let's get started all right so here's our function we have our uh, our PDF, sorry, our probability density function right here. So it says that the equation is 1 over 30x uh, times 1 plus 3x for the range of from 1 to 3 for x. Okay, and what it's asking for is to find the expected value of 1 over x. So let's first review what exactly is the formula for expected value. So the expected value for a um, continuous distribution is the following. So e of x equals uh, the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of x times the probability of x with respect to x. So now that should look familiar uh, comparing it to the discrete um, expected value. Now notice though, this x and this x are the same. And that's where we get this x. We get it from this. But in this case, the problem is saying find the expected value of 1 over x. So that changes the formula a little bit. So the expected value of 1 over x is equal to the integral of 1 over x times the probability of x. And that's the only difference with respect to x. So now, see how this goes in here, because that's the value that we're looking for. So now back to this then, we're taking this and now, by the way, remember that these do not represent, um, they don't actually come out to be negative infinity and positive infinity. They come to be this, this range here from 1 to 3. So anyway, let's take a look at what this is going to come out to be. So the expected value, expected value of 1 over x. So that's the integral, and then remember it's from 1 to 3. And it's going to be 1 over x times the probability, which is all of this. So 1 over 30, and then times x, 1 plus 3x dx. All right, now notice uh, we can actually cross this and this out. So that cancels out, that cancels out, and then this can come out of the integral. So let me show you right here. So now that's 1 over 30 outside of the integral from 1 to 3, and that's 1 plus 3x dx. And then from here, uh, just integrate it like you normally would. 
So that's 1 over 30 on the outside. And then the integration would make that x plus 3x squared over 2 from 1 to 3. Okay, and then from here, just plug it in. So that's 3 plus 3 squared is 9 times 3 is 27 over 2 minus 1 plus 1 squared, which is 1 times 3. So 3 halves. All right, now what we want to do is we want to try and solve this. So uh, we have 3 plus 27 halves minus 1 minus 3 halves. Okay, and then 3 minus 1 is 2. And then 27 minus 3 is 24. And 2 goes into 24 12 times. So then 12 plus 2 is 14. But then remember to take that times the 1 over 30. So times 1 over 30 gives us the following. Gives us 14 out of 30 which reduces to 7 out of 15. And that's our expected value.